Right folks, good morning. And today, you're gonna join us, hopefully, on our little trip into Newcastle, where we're gonna go and take the lovely Honda Monkey to get some new tires fitted. Because probably as all monkey owners know, the standard stock V rubber tires that it comes with aren't very good. Isn't that correct, Sean? Yeah. Yeah, especially in damp, really wet conditions like this. So we've decided to get the stock standard V rubber tyres removed and replaced with hopefully what's going to be the fabulous Michelin City Grip Winter. Voila, there they are. Because the monkey bike is, is used as a commute all year round, we thought we'd try out some winter tyres for the cold the cold wet mornings and the cold wet evenings uh, for the commute. So hopefully they're gonna the Michelins are gonna provide us with a little bit more uh, traction, a little bit more stability, and most of all a little bit more confidence. Now we've had obviously these uh, the V rubber tires on from new and for anybody that's interested about longevity uh, we have got I think without looking at that probably close to 3,900 miles on the rear tyre and as you can see there it's pretty close to the to the wear mark uh, so 3,900 miles The front tyre obviously has a lot more tread, but anyway, it's time to it's time to get rid and get the get the new Michelin City Grip winter tyres on. And we'll certainly be glad to see the back of these, won't we, Sean? Oh, definitely. Because just in corners, even like this here, the bike twitches. You can you can feel you can feel it just squirming, can't you, underneath here? Yeah, it's not good. Now the stock tyres that it comes with are different different sizes on the front and the back. The front tyre stock on the V-Rubber is a 120, 80, 12 inch rim and on the back is a 130, 80, 12. Yeah so the, basically the back tyre is a, is a larger diameter than the front. I think there's, there's something like 16 millimeters difference mm. I think uh, that, yeah. That, yeah the rear the rear wheel is 16 millimeters bigger in diameter to the front when we were researching online for winter tires um, what we could find there was there was only one manufacturer that had winter tires in in our sizes the original sizes being the 120 80 and the 130 80 on the back um, and that was hiding now hiding now sounds about right it sounds about right that was hiding now tires a key i think it was a k58 or something like that possibly um stamped up as a winter tire but the the actual tread it still had your large blocks but the tread itself it just looked as if that sort of pressed in, moulded in your leg, if you like, a, a, a sort of pattern. It wasn't like a true tyre that you would expect, where it would have proper sort of sapes and and small blocks, and it was just it was just a. a let's put a picture up. I think. Yeah. So as you can see, it just looks like it's been pressed in when the tyre's been made, moulded onto the tyre, if that makes sense. So, we didn't want those. Um, and we decided to go for the Michelin, because obviously the reputation Michelin have, we went, for, we went for these. Now, so getting to the point, 
That took a while. Uh, getting to the point, the Michelin City Grip in the winter only came in one size for our for, for our monkey, and that was a 130, 70, 12. Regardless whether it goes on the front or the back, the question is: Is the difference in size? Because essentially now, both the wheels are going to be the same size. Right, where were we? Yeah, so essentially the, the, the front and the back tyres are basically going to be the same size. Uh, and effectively, because now we're only doing 70% of 130 and not 80% of 120, the front wheel, I think, drops about 10 millimetres in diameter. But the back wheel, we're now doing 70% of 130 again, compared to 80% of 130. So the back wheel, reduces by I think it was 26 millimeters yes like that and in doing so the whole bike will will drop obviously 10 millimeters overall so I'm curious to see if that's going to do anything um, with regards to the sort of the IMU and the ABS I mean obviously we're going to expect a little bit of difference in in the speed for example, the, the, the tackle on the front, the speedo on the front may not, uh, may not give us a true representation of the, of the correct speed. So, we will find out very shortly, I suppose. But I think that's probably the only concern, is if the, the difference in tyre sort of size will do anything with regards to the uh, the electronics of the bike in effect, maybe it's the ABS, I don't know, so we'll, we'll find out. But certainly really looking forward to getting the, getting the new Michelins on. And then hopefully this... Uh, a bit of confidence. Yeah, we'll have a little bit of confidence with the, with the monkey. Um, obviously, again, to take us all the way through through the winter, the winter months. We rode, oh, see there, a little bit of a twitch there. Uh. Um, we rode last year in the winter with a monkey. And to be quite, to be quite frank, it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Feet down. <gasps> oh God, cobbles. Cobbles. Oh, Jesus. Right. Well, them cobbles didn't feel as bad. Really? I wonder if there's a little bit more flex flex in the tyres and the sidewalls, maybe. But yeah, they didn't seem as. Do you want to go the low road back? Whatever you want. Initial impressions. Initial impressions. See, <laughs> it's a bit crazy. I need my visor down. Um, because straight away, there's there's sort of confidence there because I've got rid of V rubber, and I've got Michelin. But the new. Or, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be Michelin. Just if it was Different. Continental Pirelli. Yeah. So, you know, and, just, anything different. Yeah. 
I mean, coming over them cobbles, it, it felt smoother, and it certainly didn't sort of squirm about as much as it did when we sort of like going there. Yeah. But even just this, it feels it feels a lot smoother. Yeah. Good. Like the ride itself, just feels yeah. feels comfortable, smooth, soft. Yeah. Good. There's no warning flashing lights at you so far. Oh! No, there we go, that's a good idea, that's a good thought. Um, yeah, right, okay then, yeah, so, one question answered then, straight away, is that we have no uh, flashy engine warning symbols or ABS flashing warning symbols. So, that would tell me then that there's no difference because of the, the, the tyre size. Yeah. Um, it hasn't affected the the IMU in any way. Have you got your garment with you? I think so. Maybe it's fine. We'll stick it on. We'll ch check the speed. Yeah. So there's no there's no ABS warning light uh, flashing as we're riding, and there's no engine management. Not that I think that that would have anyway. Oh. My main concern was possibly the ABS that might have been affected because I'm sure I've seen on some videos where people have changed the, the front sprocket on the monkey and it's affected that. I'm sure I have. I'm sure I've seen a video. But anyway, all is good in that respect then. So reducing the, 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 the diameter of the, the wheel, it hasn't affected anything electronically, should we say. So that's a, that's a positive. Yeah. Um, Sean's going to stick his his Garmin on, and we'll now we'll see what difference there is between the GPS speed and the the speed on the on the speedo on the tackle. What have you got? Right, go down to thirty. Or I'll do thirty. Yeah. Right, thirty mile an hour. Yeah. Yeah, 30. 25, 26. I'm a 28 on my bike. And that's showing 25, 26. On the GPS? Yeah. So 30 mile an hour on the clock, on the monkey clock. 25, 26. 25, 26. Right, so do 35. 34, 35 there, what we're doing now. Yeah. So 35, 35 is going to be 30 mile an hour, isn't it? Yeah. See, what we never did though was see what the difference was just normal. Oh. So that's 35 mile an hour on the monkey. 35. Uh, 30. Yeah, 5 mile an hour out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 29.30. So theoretically then, 45 should be 40. Yeah, 39, 40, right. 39, 40, 39. Fabuloso. So yeah, about five miles an hour. Yeah. That's all right, that's easy to remember. Minus five from whatever you're doing. It's starting to dry up a little bit, so... Yeah, it was the wet that we were after, though. Yeah. Oh, do you want to scrub first, don't we? So, yeah, I'm really pleased that there's no... Water, there's please. no yellow lights flashing on the, on the clock. Yeah. That's good. Right, so here we go. This is a, this is a test along here. This particular stretch of road that we're going to go through is uh, 
notoriously sketchy. Right, get on the wet stuff then. And I don't know if this is uh, the road surface or because the, the, the trees are overhanging. Yeah, this part of the road is, uh, is, is quite slippy at the best of times, shall we say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I know, it felt alright, but I'm just... I'm still, I'm still waiting if it just, because I'm on the monkey and the monkey's just shite in the, in the wet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm, I'm sort of, I'm just waiting for it to like, start, Pitch. start and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, massively better, massively yeah. better. Would have been, would have been drifting no, no, on the bloody old rubber there. <laughs> Be like some speedway bike. <laughs> I'll park it up. What? I'll park it up. Oh, I thought you said park it up. Yeah, that's good that. I like that. Yeah, very good. See him just on this little bend here. You would slide on the on the other ones. Oh man, that was yeah. That was that was even pulling into the corner. I think it's going to take quite a while get used to, it. to get, yeah, to get out of that habit of just waiting for it to sort of like twitch. Yeah. I really do. Because I've had the bike sort of that, that long. Yeah, you just expect it. Yeah. So it feels, it feels unnatural to have sort of grip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just quite weird, isn't it? Right then, folks, there we are. So, first impressions are fantastic. And as we've just sort of joked on there, I do think that it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to it not squirming about, if that makes sense. So, yeah, first impressions, fantastic.